ladies welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew pleated wrap skirts so basically what we have is your pleated maxi skirt but in today's tutorial we are going to be achieving your wrap pleated maxi skirt so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your wrap pleated maxi skirt we have our waist measurement and our skirt length so your skirt length totally depends on how long you want it to be yours could be a short pleated wrap skirt and it could also be a long pleated wrap skirt so whichever one the same method applies to the short wrap pleated skirt and the long wrap pleated skirt now don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below now when you want to achieve your pleated wrap skirt another thing you should also take note of is that you'll be needing or more than your waist allowance so that you can wrap your skirt across your waist so my waist measurement is 22 inches the first thing we are going to do is to multiply your waist measurement by 2 so multiply 22 by 2 multiply your waist measurement by 2 we are going to have 44 inches so 44 inches basically is what we are going to be using for our pleated skirt. So the first thing you are going to do is to multiply your waist measurement by 2. Now, in order for you to know the number of inches required for you to pleat your skirt, you multiply your waist measurement by 2.5 or by 3. Now, if you want your pleated skirt to be full, you go ahead and multiply your waist measurement by 3. But if you don't really want it to be that full, you go ahead and multiply your waist measurement by 2.5. And you should also consider the amount of fabric you are working with. You should also consider the amount of fabric you are working with in order for you to know if you are to multiply your waist measurement by 2.5 or by 3. So basically, that is what it is. Now... The first thing we do now is to multiply your waist measurement by 2, which we have 44 inches. Now, if you are going to multiply your waist by 2.5, right, or you are going to have 2.5, or you want to multiply your waist by 3. So, now the first thing we are going to do now is to multiply your waist measurement by 2, which we have 44 inches, right? And the reason why you are multiplying it by 2 is because so that you know the amount of inches you will wrap across your waist. Now, the number of inches you will use for your pleated skirt is either you multiply your waist measurement by 3 or you multiply your waist measurement by 2.5. So, I'm going to multiply my waist measurement by 3. So, the waist measurement I have now is 44 inches. So, 44 inches automatically becomes our waist measurement and not the initial waist measurement of 22 inches. So, we go ahead now and multiply 44 times 3. We have 1, 3, 2. The amount of inches for the width which we are going to use to pleat our dress is 132 inches. Now, how do you get 132 inches in a tape measure of 60 inches? We basically have a tape measure of 120 inches. And if you are interested in getting that, I'm going to put down the link in the description box so that you can place your order for the longer tape measure. So basically now, the amount of fabric we need for the width is 132 inches. And for our skirt length, we have 42 inches. 40 inches for our skirt length. Now for your skirt length, another thing you also need to consider is the amount of you need for your band right because your pleated skirt is going to be a band pleated skirt note that the amount of inches you will take for your band totally depends on how big or how small you want your band to be so let's say you want your band to be about two inches wide the width of your band is about two inches wide you go ahead and deduct your two inches from your skirt length so if you want a bigger band length 
let's say you want your band to be very big and then you want it to be four inches you basically go ahead and deduct four inches from your skirt length so the amount of inches you will deduct for your skirt length for your band totally depends on how small or how wide you want your band to be so but for me i'm going to make it of two inches because i just want my band to be a little bit tiny so i will go ahead now and mark and minus two inches from my skirt length so what i have here now is 38 inches right now 38 inches is what i have for my skirt length we have now is 38 inches we've gone ahead to minus two inches for the band and then we have 38 inches another thing you also take note of is that you are going to add your sewing allowance to it so we have plus two inches for our sewing allowance we have 40 inches so our skirt length now will be 40 inches and our band will be what 2 inches. Now you will also go ahead and add 1 inch to your band allowance because you will be, you'll be attaching your band to your pleated skirt. So we have plus 1, we have 3 inches. So for the wideness of your band, if you want your band to be 2 inches, for the wideness of your band you are going to cut out 3 inches because we've added 1 inch for the sewing allowance. While our skirt length is 40 inches, we went ahead to deduct 2 inches for the band because we want our band measurement to be 2 inches. And then we went ahead to add 2 inches to it, which is our sewing allowance. So I'm also going to show you guys how to cut and also how to get your pleating. Now, if you want to have accurate pleating, it is also advisable for you to get your Gada's foot, okay? It's advisable to get your Gada's foot, and Gada's foot are available. I'm going to go ahead and put down the put down the details in the description box because I have a detailed video where I was able to show you guys how to make use of your Gada's foot. So I'm also going to go ahead and link that in the description box so you can check out how to make use of your Gada's foot, and you can also place your order for your Gada's foot. Now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. In the course of this tutorial, if you have any question, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. So now, let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. Now, what we want to achieve is our wrap pleated skirt, okay? Now, this form of pleated skirt is actually different because you are going to wrap it right so what we are going to do now is we are going to have our skirt length so my skirt length now we are all, you are also going to determine the number of inches you want for your band so that's what it depends on you so if you want two inches for your band take away two inches from your skirt length if you want four inches band probably you want like a very big band then you take away four inches from your skirt length so it totally depends on you but for me I want a tiny band and I'm going to make use of two inches so I will deduct my two inches from my skirt length so this is what I have now for my length now for the width of our skirt go ahead and multiply your waist by 3 or by 2.5 it totally depends on the amount of fabric you are working with and also how full you want your fabric to be so our waist measurement now is 40 40 multiplied by 3 we have 120 inches right so for the width of our fabric now for the width we have 120 inches and for the length we have four. now for our band on a single fold this way on a single fold this way we have four inches but when it's folded into two because basically your band is going to be folded into two when you want to attach it to the pleating part which is the lower part of our skirt we are going to have two inches okay we have two and a half so after stitching now we'll have two inches so for the length of our band now our waist is 40 inches for the length i went ahead to add extra 10 inches because we are going to wrap it so i went ahead to add extra 10 inches so for the length now of our band we have 52 inches 
and for the wideness of our band on the open fold this way single fold we have four inches and on a double fold we are going to have 2.52 inches rather so this is basically what we are going to cut out so i'll go ahead now and show you guys how to attach your lower part to your band what we are going to do now is to basically attach this lower part to our band right and in order for you to achieve that you are basically going to go ahead and pleat your fabric this way or you make use of your gathers foot okay and gathers foot are available so in case you don't have your gathers foot you just go ahead and pleat it this way you can see I'm going to put down the description or the details for you to get your gathers foot in the description box so you can go ahead and check that if you want to get yours but if you don't have your gathers foot you can also do it manually by using your hands to pleat it this way you can see so you just basically you taking it let me zoom it in you just basically you taking a piece this way and then you pleat it, take another piece, and then you pleat it, take another piece, and then you pleat it. So this is basically what you want to achieve. So once you are done, you can see this part is gathered up with our gathers foot. And one advantage of gathers foot is that it makes your pleat to be equal, okay? Now we have our band. Now we have our band. So because our band is longer than the fabric, don't forget that our band is longer than the fabric because we want to wrap it. So you go ahead now and place the inches out this way. You can see the extension of what we have. So you basically place it this way. We added about 10 inches extra. So we have maybe 5 inches on this part and 5 inches on the second part. And you can also determine that you want one part to be short this way and then the other part to be long. It does depend on how you want to wrap it basically. So go ahead now and attach your band to your pleat this way. You can see what you are going to have. You can see what this part looks like once it's attached. You can see what you have in this part. You can see that we've attached our band to the pleat and you can see what it looks like. So I'll go ahead now and do this for all of them and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is basically what we have. So we've gone ahead now to pleat this. You can see what it looks like and we made use of our waist measurement, okay, to gather this up we made this of our waist measurement to gather this up now for the inner part we also went ahead to pleat our lining on it because just to give it like a little form of structure and so that it can really pop um, out so much so we just went ahead now to pleat our lining so basically this is what the pleat looks like right so this is basically what the piece looks like so now we have our band and for our band also we've also gone ahead to iron our paper stain now when you iron paper stain to band it just makes it stand more firm thicker and just add more structure to it so i will always recommend that you add paper stain to your band okay so now we want to attach our band now to our skirt that is the lower part of our skirt so we just go ahead now and stitch this this way make sure you leave inches out because you are going to tie it in form of your wrap so we just go ahead now and stitch this this way by the time we are done we should have something like this you can see should have this by the time we are done so i'll go ahead now and couple this up and then i'll basically show you guys how to wrap your pleated skirt if you've learned a lot from this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i'll go ahead now and do that now don't also forget to end the side so go ahead and end the side and also you will also aim the lower parts of your skirt so make sure you aim the lower part of your skirt and also the sides so guys i'm done sewing it so after 
stitching it this is basically what it looks like okay so this is basically what it looks like you can see the length our band and all of that so what we want to achieve is wrap pleated skirt so i'll go ahead now and you can see that it is just straight it's not sewn together you can see this is not sewn together it's just very straight so i'll go ahead now and wrap this so you can see what we have you can see you can see what we have for the band so I've gone ahead just to tie it you can see our pleated skirt is ready and it's so full because we basically have lining in it so you can see the balloon effect and this is what the back looks like you can see that you will even know that it is wrapped okay you won't even discover that it is wrapped look at the back look at the back and then look at the front so i hope you guys enjoy this video so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video We are done and this is what we have so you can see the length pleated we have our band ready we've aimed the side and we've also aimed the lower piece so this is what it looks like basically just a very long pleated skirt so i'll go ahead now and wrap this so if you've learned a lot from this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe okay so I'll go ahead now and wrap this. So I'm just basically going to be tying it at the back. Just basically tying it at the back. So you will even discover that what we have is not your regular pleated skirt but rather is a wrap pleated skirt. You guys, can you see how full it is? Can you see how it stands? And the lining just gave it like more structure and you can see the band area fitted. So this is basically what it looks like. And let me show you guys the back. So you can see our back, just like your regular um, pleated skirt. You can see what we have for the back. So free. And this is what we have for the front. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make, okay? And I'm loving my wrap skirts wrap pleated skirt very easy and very simple and one advantage of this style is it can fit so many sizes all you have to do is to make sure that your band is actually very long so that once any size fits into it they can probably just tie it at the waist you can see what we have so cute guys so i hope you guys love this tutorial feel free to drop your questions and like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one so guys basically you can make yours a short pleated skirt okay if you don't want it to be long if you don't want to have a maxi effect like this you can make yours a short pleated skirt you can go ahead and make yours a long pleated skirt it all depends on what you want and make sure that you have like a very long band so that you can fit into different sizes and for the back also you can see what we have you can see what we have for the back <laughs> so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys you will even find out that is wrap like you hardly know it 